Hello everyone and welcome to LearnTech. In this video I'll show to you guys how you can make your Windows 11 taskbar the same like Windows 10. There are many reasons why you may want to do that and one of them is with Windows 11 taskbar you cannot activate the future which is never combined. So practically your applications or folders that you have opened they will combine here on the taskbar like for example Google Chrome now it's combined. We don't want that, but Windows 11 taskbar does not offer that feature. So in this case, we are going to use an external application, which is called Explorer Patcher. This is developed in GitHub. It may have some risk, but it is quite tested right now and it looks quite good. So in order to download it, you can use the link that I will put on the description below and you will come directly on this page where you can see a description regarding this application. Let's go over futures and let's see what exactly are some of the futures that this application is providing. So for example, once it makes our taskbar look like Windows 10, we'll have also all the futures of Windows 10 taskbar. And for Windows 11, it will enable some extra features which Windows 11 taskbar does not have. In order to download, we need to scroll down till we find here, download the latest version of the setup program. So we just click over this link here, setup program, and the setup program will download. It's quite small file. And once it's download the executable file, you just double click over it in order to install. In case that you want to uninstall, here are the commands that you can run or you can just rename this setup to this name and you run that again and the application will be uninstalled from your computer. So we just double click and the installation will start. It's a just one more time run program. And as you can see, my taskbar now it's changing. So once the application is installed, you need to go over the taskbar and you click with the right of the mouse and now it will show this setting which is properties. We click over properties. We can see now we have all the settings regarding the Windows Patcher application. And also, so over here we can specify the taskbar style. I'm gonna select Windows 10 and let's see what happens. And in order to apply the Windows 10 taskbar after you choose the style, you need to click over this button here, which is Restart File Explorer. So we click over Restart File Explorer. And as we can see now, my start is moved on the left. So here we are. My taskbar now is looking exactly like Windows 10. So my start menu is over here. The search is here. The pinned applications are on the left and the programs that I have opened are not combined. And as we can see on the program of Explorer Patcher here where it says combine taskbar icons on primary taskbar, it is selected never combine, which is the default on Windows 10. And if we want to select always combine, we just come over here and we select always combine and then the applications or the folders that I have opened, they will be combined. I'm going to choose never combine because that's actually the main reason why I decided to install this Explorer patcher on my computer. You have over here all the settings regarding the taskbar that you want. For example, you can customize the notification area, you can decide how big you want your taskbar icon size. I'll choose small and it will show like this. So there is a lot of settings that you can play with it. You can define the system tray, the file explorer, how you want to have it, etc., etc. So, but basically that's all that you have to do in order to make your Windows 11 taskbar look like Windows 10. But not just only look, but actually having the features of Windows 10. If you want to go back to Windows 11, you just select Windows 11 and you click over Restart File Explorer and it will go back. You also have many features of Windows 11 that you can use. For example, you can define where you want the location of the taskbar, where should be the extra button, etc., etc. I find this application really useful and it is for free. That's the biggest important thing. You can just donate if you want and you can enjoy it as long as you want. 
So that's all that I wanted to show to you guys. I hope that you liked this video and please do not forget to subscribe and please leave your comment below. What do you think about this application? And let's ask Microsoft to involve this kind of functions or features on Windows 11. So we don't need to do this. We don't need to install extra softwares on Windows 11 in order to use the features that Windows 10 had. Thanks a lot.